since we're, we're here, we're watching you work, is there anything that you want to make sure that we capture that the audience gets to see or gets to learn just about what it's like to be on set and working with you? Yeah, just um, kind of seeing like the collaborative effort here, um, seeing, you know, uh, the partner that I'm working with um, in the scenes, seeing um, my husband like taking care of all this stuff, what that looks like. Um, and that to me, it's just, this is just a smaller, cheaper version really of any other entertainment that a person might watch, you know, or the making of entertainment, whether it's, you know, a fucking Marvel movie that costs <laughs> multiple millions of dollars or just this little indie do it yourself kind of, um, company that we run. Uh, it, it's just, that's what we're doing. We're making entertainment yeah. to share with the people who want to see it. And if people don't want to see it, guess what? <laughs> watch it. <laughs> but let us do it, please. <laughs> right? Well, you've, you've worked on some of those bigger sets in the porn industry. Yeah. How does that compare to what we're seeing here? I mean, obviously more people and, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it. But yeah. in terms of the, the chemistry, the blocking, the preparation, uh, what can you tell me? Mm, it's totally different. Um, I mean, chemistry with my own screen partner that I'm mm. doing the scene with, um, that that can work on any type of set, any size of set. Um, sure. It really comes down to like the two people who are fucking or three or ten, whatever. Um, but so the the mechanics of a larger set with more cameras and more people and more looky loos and, and all of that does that <laughs> make it uh, more difficult to maintain that chemistry? Um, for me, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't know. I just get in front of the camera and just like do my thing, really. Uh, so it could be one guy holding a camera, or it could be fifteen people in the room, each one holding something different, because that's the part they play on that set. Um, so for me, it's just like the bigger the set, the more people. I've noticed that everything takes way longer, and you do sure. a lot of hurry up and waiting, and mm -hmm. a lot of sitting around, and. Um, so then it just becomes tedious, and then usually you're getting paid the same price even if you're there for, you know, 18. I, I've been on set for 14 hours before and got that same paycheck if I was there for two hours, so. <laughs> so everybody's motivated to get the shot. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but, yes, yeah, so for me, it's just, uh, you know, I, I think my performance is the same regardless. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's something to be said for a more intimate um you know, just a camera guy, and then me and my partner in the scene. Um, so that, that can just be, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit more cozy, comfy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, what about when you're shooting your own scenes that are, I suppose, more elaborate than the short clip we just watched, when you've yeah. got, like, uh, characters and, and full-on oh, yeah. dialogue in a, in oh, a yeah. scene? <laughs> uh, what goes into that in terms of just preparation and, and making sure everybody is, I guess, off book or, or whatever that looks like? Oh, man. Um... So usually for stuff like that, it's like you'll look at the few lines you need to say in the next part, get that in your head, and then shoot those few lines, and then like go to the next part. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's it's not like a like a stage performance where you've all got to have it memorized. Everybody's memorized the whole yeah. script, and yeah, elaborate like tape on the yeah. floor and all that. Yeah, no, <laughs> but you know, so every once in a while we'll we'll have something where that becomes kind of necessary. Like I think sure. there was one where I had to do like a transformation from like a nerdy scientist into like a sexy bombshell. So I put some tape on the floor so that I would hold still and then like change my outfit real quick in that same spot and knew where I was standing in the same spot, you know, mm, so we can right. make it look like a transformation happened. Um, but yeah, like it's just, uh, sometimes it has to be a lot more intricate. Um, and then those, to me, it's just that those end up taking a little bit longer to shoot. Um, and we usually, he's in a lot of those when we do stuff like that. So we have to get like a separate camera person and discuss the shots and stuff like that. Um, so it's just a little more technical, but otherwise, um, you know, just doing our thing. Like, <laughs> sure. What's your favorite way to work? You know, is it these like kind of short custom clips where you are, you know, fulfilling somebody's fantasy, mm -hmm. I suppose, or is it maybe like building out your own fantasy and kind of scripting what you think the audience wants to see or how does that all come together? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, I think that I really do love making people's fantasies uh, come true on camera. on film. Sure. So for me, um, that's a big part. I do like doing customs because they give me the ideas. 
Uh, for me to sit and try to like think stuff up, it can be a little exhausting. <laughs> sure. um, I do like doing it sometimes. You know, I, I have my, my movies that I release and stuff like that. Um, but those do tend to be more just like freeform sex scenes. Mm. So not really scripting, maybe just like a little idea of why we're here, what we're wearing, stuff like that. But uh, and then just like having hot sex, which I like that, too. Uh, but sometimes, you know, it is fun to like go over the script and be like, try to, OK, and put it all together and bring it to life. Like, I think that's kind of fun. I like that. So favorite. I don't know. I like it. I like combo. Mm. It's also really nice uh, still working on those big sets that I was talking about, because the thing about that is that I do get to go and I just do my performance and I leave. And I don't have to think too much about it. With customs, it's like a lot of work and a lot of pressure to make sure like I'm getting all the elements that they ask for and stuff like that. So you're just thinking about it more. Uh, or I go to get paid to do a scene and it's just like, oh, I'm just going to like have the sex. It's great. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, is there anything else you want to make sure the audience understands about who you are and what you do here? Um, yeah, just that I, I don't know, I'm confident, happy, joyful, <laughs> free, <laughs> and um, I think, yeah, I, I want um, my, my brand and my company to be inclusive and queer and um, just that I want, that I stand for all those things, and I just want people to have fun and feel good and not feel shamed, like that's a big thing that I try to put out into the world mm -hmm. that this is all okay <laughs> well that's our mission yes so thank you so I'm much so i appreciate you talking me through all of this absolutely absolutely for sure thank you <laughs>